I think the first step for the for the first angle, if you don't have a back sight or if you don't have a turned angle, um, and you do know your uh, um, your azimuth or your bearing, what you can do is you can enter it in. If it's a if it's an azimuth, just leave your quadrant at northeast um, and enter um, the um, the azimuth. So three forty eight. 47, 31.2, at a distance of 150 feet, units, whatever. Um, what it does is it calculates your relative x and your relative y in the blue direction. The the green, because your your back sight's zero, it's showing um, a, a north angle. But but it um, it calculates your quadrant, um, puts you in the northwest, or I'm sorry, it calculates your bearing, um, gives you 11 degrees, 12 minutes, um, so many seconds, that many feet, x and y. So what you can do is you hit add to area, and it comes over to the area tab, and it uh, says you don't have a traverse, traverse origin. Um, if you want, if you don't want to start this point, if you don't want it to be zero, zero, you can specify um, a location, you can, you can specify coordinates. So we'll do that real quick. We'll say um, our coordinates will be um, 400 by 500 is the, is the coordinates for the, um, the first for the for your origin, um, so we'll hit add to area again, um, and it says coordinates successfully added to the area, um, and your new angle is now your um, foreside or backside, um, and so from that we can we can then turn an angle, um, so we'll we'll go to turn, and we'll do a, a turned angle of um, eighty nine degrees. Um, 37 seconds, oops, that was minutes, wasn't it, in 30 seconds, and um, what that does is it, it turns in a clockwise direction, um, so what we need to do is we need to do a negative 89 if we want to go um, counterclockwise, um, and so the blue line represents the new angle, um, you can verify that the it, it was calced correctly if you have it, if not, um, it gives it to you. Um, you can specify 75 feet, hit done, it gives you your x and y, you hit add to area, and it uh, says coordinates successfully added, and it draws in the, the next leg. Um, again, you can continue um, just by entering the, uh, the next turned angle, or the, the bearing is if you have it. Um, so we'll do a turned angle again of 88. Um, 37 minutes, oh, 38 this time and 34.8 seconds um, revise the distance here and again the blue line represents oops, the blue line represents the uh, the new angle it gives us our x and y we add the coordinates and it, it says successfully added um, so you can go back to the traverse, and if you have the bearing, um, like I said, this is how you choose a quadrant. Um, you can set your quadrant to whatever you want, but I'm going to enter in the azimuth for this line um, rather than a turned angle. Um, so what you do is you set your northeast um, quadrant so that it, it calcs from uh, an azimuth of zero. And we'll enter 263 um, degrees, 34 minutes, and 12 seconds. Um, it will enter a, a distance of 65. And again, it gives you your blue line. Um, it add to area, coordinates added successfully, and it gives you your um, total area and your closure. On the iPad, it's the same process. Um, you can enter your new angle, backside, or turned angle. It provides you the, um, the same depiction that you saw on the iPhone here. Um, and then the, uh, the area is shown both within the area tab where your uh, where your list is, as well as on the traverse tab, um, it gives you a, a depiction there. Um, same same process. You can you can pick your um, your angles, you enter your data, and uh, it gives you your x and y. You add add coordinates to area. Granted, I just messed it up, but um, it adds it in, and then it it also shows it here.